Okay, now comes the experiment. Now I thought that I would do something that I've never seen before, that has never been done, or has been done before, but you know, that is interesting. So I decided that I was going to do a dessert. Yes, a dessert sushi. Now I'm still going to use the same rice. I'm going to use a few few interesting ingredients. And we got them right here. We got some, all these are fresh ingredients. We got fresh mango, got fresh cantaloupe. I got Fuji apple. Of course I got the Fuji. And I've got some almond butter. Now I actually never tried almond butter, but I was told by a couple of friends that almond butter is a good substitute for peanut butter, plus if you have a peanut allergy, there you go. It's a little bit chunkier. At least this stuff is. Uh, I got it down at a Reading Terminal Market in Philly. Where I got all this stuff. Um, Reading Terminal Market down in Philly is an absolutely amazing place. If you like food, go there. Um, it's down at 12th and Arch Streets in Center City, Philadelphia. And it's got some of the nicest store. If, if it's basically a huge supermarket with a huge see um, food court, but half of the um, stores are run by Amish, and they just have some of the some of the freshest produce. And you can get it nice and cheap. And they have some of the nicest uh, fish, nicest pro, nicest everything. Um, so go there. You can get all different types of food, and that's where I got most of these ingredients. I'm gonna put a little bit down. Spread it across. Nice. Let's throw some of the apple down. A lot of this stuff is uh, Jersey produce, um, as we're in a great area for produce around here. Get some really nice stuff. Um, the place that I go in, uh, Reading Terminal Market, has mostly stuff from Jersey. So it, it's just really, really nice. I can get some stuff locally here, but they have some really good prices down there. So. They do more volume. I'm about doing kiwi, but I think kiwi would have been a little bit too much. Look at that. That's pretty. That is pretty. And we have a dessert roll. And here we are, all four different types of sushi. We started off with our uh, raw fish sushi, which included tuna and salmon, and included loads of other ingredients like avocados and carrots and bean sprouts and mushrooms. And then we moved on to our vegetarian roll, which had that sweet egg with cucumbers and mushrooms and sprouts and to our dessert roll, which includes almond butter and mango and apple and cantaloupe. Now I like to serve them with a little bit of this spicy mayo. I like to serve these with a little bit of the spicy mayo. Now, the spicy mayo, um, I'm going to put the recipe for that on the side too. But the spicy mayo is not a condiment that's common in Japan. But with sushi in the US, it's very common. And I made it by combining some uh, Tabasco chipotle but, uh, hot sauce with mayo and a little bit of oil, or a bit of uh, vegetable oil. So let's put a little bit of that on top of these. And I also have a little bit of 
soy sauce. And I like to use an organic shoyu. It is traditionally brewed soy sauce. It's It's got a deeper flavor than it. You can find it at any of your Whole Foods stores, um, the Whole Foods market, or just a generic Whole Foods store. Wasabi. Now sometimes it comes prepared in the um, as a paste like this in a tube. Uh, sometimes it comes as a paste that you have to mix up with water. Uh, sometimes it comes just in a jar. Wasabi is basically a um, horseradish, a uh, Japanese horseradish. Now this, it's usually is very. And I completely and totally forgot. I have pickled ginger. Pickled ginger is a common side with sushi. with our dessert sushi, a little bit of caramel sauce. Sesame seeds can work with sweet, too. We got a wonderful meal. And making this at home, learning how to make sushi at home is one of the best things you can do because Sushi, when you go out, it's expensive. This whole meal right here would probably cost you close to, say, about 25 bucks in a real good place, real good uh, sushi restaurant. Right now, that right there costs me no more than 12 bucks. And I have so much more ingredients left that I can make. So, that's it for this week's episode of Julia Sunday Dinners. I'm Julia, and I'm going to get to eating. See you next time. Thanks for